it's cloudy but uh, as yesterday the clouds I think will spread and it will be a beautiful sunny day uh, it's not too hot when it's a bit overcast so that's good uh, because the sun really burns today we will have uh, a short trip on the western side of the island I mean the western part of the north <laughs> So day 6 we have the Garachico area uh, and I will pop the screen somewhere here so you can see as I scroll. So we will have Mirador Playa Los Roques, uh, we have the ruins of Gordehuela and I will tell you more about these uh, along the way. Playa de Castro and there is a nice waterfall, hopefully it won't be high tide and we can go down to see it uh, closer but if not, well, that's okay then we have uh, Fortín de San Fernando and then Drago Milenario which is the oldest and largest living specimen of uh, this kind of tree, the dragon tree then we have uh, the Garachico pool where I hope that Adrian can uh, have a little swim uh, then we have this uh, door without a door monument in Satan Moko uh, made by a Japanese artist and then we have the San Miguel castle and that would be all for today it seems a lot but they are following each other along the coastline so I really hope that we won't uh, spend too much time and waste too much time. Sorry, but um, trying to find always parkings and you know, but I think uh, we can do it in one day like without any problem. So I'm waiting for Adrian to get ready. We will pack uh, and we will hit the road. As for today's outfit, I have this white floral romper. It's a romper, but it also has this layer, which makes it look like a skirt. I have my hat and my sneakers, as always. As you can see, our first stop, um, the Playa de los Roques. Uh, it's only 6.4 kilometers away so we'll be there very soon but first we stopped at the gas station also making sure our car is clean because yesterday we had a rough road Playa Los Roques is named due to the profusion of volcanic rocks that exist around it. The two biggest ones are Roque Chico and Roque Grande. And what's interesting about them is that they have a hole in them and the water can pass through. Next up we went to see the ruins of Gordehuela. This is not the only way you can get there. I'm pretty sure there is a shorter one. This is an old hydraulic pumping station that was built in 1904, 70 meters above the sea level, now in ruins. It was the first steam engine on the island of Tenerife that worked with coal that was placed inside it. It was done with the objective that the waters of Gordehuela would move a nearby flour mill and irrigate the banana crops of the Orotava Valley. Hey guys, I am now trying alone <laughs> to reach Playa de Castro. Oh, what I don't like here in the north is that you always have to uh, go down from the cliff and then climb all the way up so Adrian uh, didn't join me for this trip but uh, hopefully it's not very far away we shall see <laughs> I'm not sure if you 
you can see right there it should be a uh, waterfall let's see where this road leads us uh, no no ah oh, for this san fernando that's great i wanted actually to come here oh that's cool so uh i will take the other road on my way back awesome yay now i'm super happy though it's high tide and i'm not happy that i can't go down on the beach but maybe i can approach it a little bit more oh look now you can see the waterfall much better from here ah oh, that's awesome oh oh that's so cool see right there hope i'm pointing right <laughs> Okay, now let's go see the fort. And oh my goodness! Oh, and I actually can go down to the beach. I just can't approach the waterfall because the water is too high. The fort of San Fernando was built towards the end of the 18th century with the aim of keeping watch over the coast of Los Realejos and defending it from pirates. It still has three of the five cannons that were placed there in the early 19th century and has been used to shoot a series of international films such as Moby Dick and James Bond. Well guys, I couldn't find a path that leads to the beach. I mean, there was one, but it was pretty risky. I'm not sure that's the only one. Uh, so I will have to search it on the internet. And right now, I came to Madre de Agua. Uh, yeah. Oh, little lizard. I'm not sure where, what I'm supposed to see because this is not on my schedule. But uh, it's like a rainforest here, <laughs> so nice, surrounded by palm trees and oh, okay, I think I arrived. We're going back then. So it's nice to take a walk here. So as expected, I went down here and I came uh, back on another road. Oh, and now I will have to find Adrian. Oh, I can see him, okay. And I will drink a baraquito. I'm so tired actually. What's up, Adrian? Hello. <laughs> I went back to Adrian and I looked it over and I think now I found um, the right path <laughs> because uh, yeah this is it guys oh my gosh it was so hidden no it's not that hidden but look at that look at that yay guys Oh, I knew there had to be like an easier one <laughs> so I looked at photo and uh, then I could see where the path started from so last time I went in the other direction that's why I didn't see it oh, oh wow okay oh look how cool oh, okay Let's go. But first, let me take a photo. More steps. See that rock? That is the camel rock. 
is like a camel laid down. How nice. Playa de Castro is a small beach on Tenerife's Rambla de Castro with small stones and black sand. It is connected to the neighboring beach of La Fajana by a tunnel of about 100 meters. And there is also a waterfall, as I mentioned before, which can be approached during low tide. See guys, when you arrive to this little pond, uh, you take that path on the right. I went back and I think I took this one. Oh my gosh, okay. I took that one and that's that's why I didn't see it. But you need to take that one. Okay, now let's go back and continue our adventures. Oh, look at that. Adrian made a little friend. <laughs> Beauty. the best meal we've had so far on this island so so good we highly recommend this place and right now we're going to Ico de Vino to see that uh, 1000 year old uh, dragon tree and then we'll have Garachico and we're done for today Drago Milenario is the oldest and largest living specimen of dragon tree, one of the symbols of Tenerife, declared national monument in 1917. It is said to be a thousand years old. It is around 20 meters tall and it has over 3,000 main branches. We arrived in Garachico at the natural pools, but it was pretty crowded, plus it was still high tide. With the imposing presence of the famous rock, symbol of the Garachico eruption in 1706, when this was the most important port in Tenerife, this area of pure lava offers the perfect combination of open sea and calm, large rock pools. And this is why it's dangerous to swim during high tide. The waves are so strong and they crush into the pools with such power. The San Miguel castle is made of fine Canarian stones. It covers around 6,000 square meters of land and features main towers that are more than 16 meters tall. This is the sculpture, Tensei Tenmoku, door without a door, and there is uh, the Garachiko natural pool. Once we got back, we went to relax on the beach, watch the paragliders and the surfers and I also tried the long exposure trick to create this nice blurry water effect. 